In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can make any size tent that you want using galvanized fence post top rail and some boat shrink wrap. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Russ from Backyard Boat Work. So this video, I promise is going to be a super short video um, because as you can see, I'm taking down uh, my 20 by 20 tent that I built probably about a little little less than a year ago. Um, I want, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to make this video because I've had actually quite a few people comment and leave messages asking me where I bought my tent or how I built my tent, et cetera, et cetera. But I've since sold this tent. I sold it really quick, um, but I'm going to show you real quick how I built this tent and it lasted. It worked really well for the past year, even when it was tropical storms, heavy rain and everything. I was super surprised at how well this held up. So I'm going to turn the camera around real quick, just show you the pieces that I used to, to build it. And um, yeah. All right, so this is a 20 by 20 footprint, more or less. And uh, I'll get to the top in a minute, but I'll just kind of show you what I did to build the structure itself. So these are standard fence post top rail. You can buy these at Home Depot. Um, the thing is at Home Depot, actually I bought these at Lowe's. Um, the fence post top rail that they sell at Lowe's only comes in 10 foot section. So I originally bought a whole bunch of 10 foot pieces to build this, but then I realized that my fence supplier down the street sells the top rail in a lot larger section. So that I think they had 15 foot sections I ended up buying um, the second time around. And then I was able to cut them because some of the pieces that I wanted um, needed to be a little bit longer than 10 foot. So the majority of these pieces here are a little less than 10. Um, so it's like, it's, it's about 10 and 10. I don't know the exact measurements, but you'll get the gist here of how it all came together. So if you see here up in the corner, these corner braces, I ordered these off eBay and you can go on eBay and just type in, um, galvanized carport and you can find, so this is a corner piece. Um, this is a middle piece that has the two sections that come off the sides. Um, this is another middle piece. So to make this whole section, there's one, two, three, four corner pieces and one, two, three, four, five, six of the center pieces. And then the roof pieces have a different angle on them. So this is, uh, I don't know the exact angle, but you can see this angle here is a lot more aggressive than the angle here to create this pitch. So. On eBay, they make different angle tops. So if you want, if you want your tent to be more upright like this, um, say if you had a snow situation, so you could shed the snow, you might want to make the the peak a little bit taller. But you can see my peak here is pretty flat. Um, obviously, we don't have to deal with snow here in South Florida, but I had no problems with this shedding the water off. So I added these support braces so you can see how these pieces tie in. So these pieces you can buy at Lowe's as well, but if you go to a fence supply store, you're probably gonna save a decent chunk of money. So then I bought these angle pieces here. So it's this bracket and then this piece kind of swivels so you can adjust the angle to any way that you want. And we put those in just to give it some added support on the top. Honestly, don't even think it was really necessary, but this is a big span right here. So all these pieces is quite heavy. So I figured having this extra support here um, helped to keep the roof from, you know, dropping down over time. It's starting to rain a little bit. So the expensive part of this and the hardest part of this was doing the top. So this is boat shrink wrap and you can buy this from a company called Dr. Shrink. So my local boat supply store, uh, fiberglass coatings, they carry this in stock. So it comes in different sizes, but I purchased a 20 foot by a hundred foot roll. So I was able, so this is 20 by 20. So what happened was, um, you can see here on the end, 
If I made the tent a little bit shorter, it would have solved kind of this problem that I ran into with the 20 foot piece. But because this piece has to wrap around the other side, it didn't reach all the way to the front. So the, the piece ended here. So this is 20 feet. So then I had to, to uh, heat weld another small piece to complete the end section um, with the shrink wrap. So doing this shrink wrap was a difficult job and it took three of us and in the middle of it, um, it started to rain. You can't do it in the rain and you really can't do it when it's windy. Um, the rain won't, will cool the plastic down and the heat shrink, it won't shrink. So I actually purchased, starting to rain, let me get under the tent. So I actually purchased the, the real deal uh, heat shrink gun that they use to, to plastic heat shrink uh, boats with. And actually did a few jobs with it. So I kind of made my money back on the heat shrink, but I've used it to shrink wrap other boats that I was painting and I needed to, to keep it out of the rain. So, you know, it wasn't a total uh, one-time investment. Um, the other thing you could do is you could do something similar to what my friend did here. You can see that he has a tarp. So I'm not sure the size of his, his enclosure, but um, this, these tarps you can order in custom sizes. Uh, the, downsize, the downside with this is this lasts maybe a year at most because when the wind blows and this thing flaps, they tend to just fall apart on the seams and around the edges. So I think this is the second or third one that he's put on this. This has been on here for a year under the trees and everything. And I had an iguana jump out of this tree, a big iguana, and land right on the top of it and didn't do any damage to it. It didn't fall through or anything, which scared the out of me, but um, I was surprised that um, it held up. So I can't really think of anything else, guys, in this video, but I did want to share this, uh, this project. Oh, real quick, um, these are buckets filled about halfway up with concrete. And in these buckets, um, I put these, uh, these connection pieces in, and then this kind of screws it together to hold it into place, but you can't trust that at all. We uh, ratchet strapped it down to stuff that's surrounding it. So if you had more weight in the bucket, you could ratchet strap it down to the bucket itself. So oh, sweating, sweating, trying to get this cut down. So I sold this. Somebody's coming to pick it up in a couple days. Um, estimated cost. So the 20 by 100 roll of shrink wrap, I think it was about $115. The shrink wrap gun was $650. And it's hard for me to estimate how many sections of the fence top rail that I purchased. But I think I probably had about $300 to $350 in all of this structure to make a 20 by 20 tent. All right, so this was kind of a half-assed. I decided to make this video as I'm cutting the top of this off. So I hope you got a little bit from that. If you're looking to build a tent like this, you can do the same thing. You can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. Um, but the shrink wrap is the tricky part, but it's definitely worth it. Um, like I said, this has been on here for almost a year now, and it held up perfectly. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. Leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe. See you in the next one.